Hello everyone. Have you ever thought about the speed of your internet connection? Well, chances are, yes, you have. Because when you were shopping for high-speed broadband internet for your home or business, one of the first things you thought about was speed, such as upload and download speeds. And as you were shopping, you may have seen internet service providers advertising broadband internet speeds of 100 megabits per second, 500 megabits per second, or 1,000 megabits per second. Well, these speeds that are advertised are technically not the speed at which data travels over a network, but it's actually a measurement of the maximum amount of data that's transferred over a network. And this is what's known as bandwidth. Bandwidth is measured in bits per second, or BPS. In other words, it's a measurement of how much data is transferred over a network in one second. So, for example, if you have a 100 megabit internet service connection, then that means that a maximum of 100 megabits of data can be transferred in one second. Or if you have a 500 megabit connection, then that means that a maximum of 500 megabits of data can be transferred in one second. So even though the 100 and 500 megabit connection transmit data at the same speed, the 500 megabit connection will seem like it's faster because it can transfer five times more data in one second than the 100 megabit connection. So this is why internet service providers advertise their internet connections as speeds. So as an analogy, we can use an illustration of water flowing through a pipe. And depending upon the diameter of the pipe, it will directly affect how much water can flow through it. So the smaller diameter pipe will represent a lower bandwidth connection. And the larger diameter pipe will represent a higher bandwidth connection. So as you can see, the flow of water is traveling at the same rate in both pipes. But since the bottom pipe is wider than the top one, it's able to flow a lot more water at the same time more than a smaller pipe, which can fill up the container at the other end a lot faster. Hey guys, before I continue, I just want to thank my sponsor for this video, which is Brilliant. And Brilliant is simply brilliant. Brilliant is an online learning center where you can learn and improve your skills in as little as 15 minutes per day. But what makes Brilliant different is that they don't just teach you by giving you a lecture, but instead they teach you by using interactive exercises that you participate in, which helps in reinforcing learning. With guided bite-sized lessons, Brilliant makes it easy to stay on track, see your progress, and build your own problem-solving skills one concept at a time. And with thousands of lessons available, you can be assured that you'll find something that you're interested in learning about. And right now, you can try everything that Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days by going to brilliant.org forward slash powersert or click the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen and you also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. So this works just like an internet connection. If both of these connections were to download a video from the internet that's four gigabytes in size, the 500 megabit connection can download the video to your computer a lot faster. So in theory, the 100 megabit connection would take about five and a half minutes to download a four gigabyte video while the 500 megabit connection would only take a little over a minute. Or if some of you were old enough to remember this, if you were, us <laughs> if you were using an AOL dial-up connection back in the 1990s, using a whopping 56K BPS connection using your phone line, it would take you about a week to download a 4 gigabyte video. Now this is providing that AOL doesn't randomly kick you off your connection and no one in your home wants to use your phone because this will cause you to disconnect and then you'll have to reconnect and you'll have to restart the download all over again from scratch. So again, these calculations are just on paper because in the real world, there's internet traffic, lag, and equipment that would affect the actual time it takes to download. But needless to say, the more bandwidth you have, the faster and smoother your internet experience will be. But also, the higher the bandwidth, the higher price you'll have to pay your internet service provider. Now keep in mind, bandwidth is measured in both download and upload speeds. 
But when ISPs are advertising their internet speeds, such as 100 or 500 megabits per second, they are referring to the download speed. And typically, the upload speed will be only a fraction of the download speed. So for example, if an ISP is advertising a download speed of 100 megabits per second, the upload speed may be around 10 megabits per second. Now, the reason for this is because the download speed is what's most important when regular consumers are doing normal things, such as browsing websites, watching videos, writing emails, and so on. So having a high upload speed is not really important. But if the consumer is running a business, and they are uploading large files on a regular basis, or if they are a live streamer, for example on YouTube, well, then having a faster upload speed would be needed. So guys, I want to thank you for watching this video on bandwidth. Please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.